I found this cute little clipboard at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the clipper. I'm going to remove the bow and I'm going to take the little stand off the back. I found these packets of seeds at our dollar store and I'm going to cut them down the seam and just take the face of each seed packet. I'm going to go back to the clipboards. And paint them in Wise Owl White Primer. And I'm not worrying about full coverage. I want some of the dark to peek through. I kind of want these to be a little bit more vintage looking. And I'm going to do this on all three. Once dry, I'm going to take the face of each of the seed packets. And I'm going to decoupage them to the front of each of my little frame panels. By using the One Hour Enamel Clear lay down the seed packet. I'm going to do another coat of one hour enamel clear only because this is a very thick paper. Then I'm going to lay down my saran wrap, use my brayer, and then hit it again with the one hour enamel clear. This is just going to ensure that it all lays down and has a nice seal to the top. Once that was dry, I'm going to take our General Finishes Gel Stain this is in Antique Walnut, and I'm going to apply the gel stain all over the front of my panel and wipe it back with a baby wipe. I have that barrier so I don't have to worry about ruining my decoupage paper. And I'm going to leave some of that stain behind. And I'm going to do this on each panel with the decoupage seed packet on it. I found these three galvanized panels at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use chalked spray paint. I'm going to allow that to dry. It's from Rust-Oleum. And then I'm going to use the General Finishes Gel Stain again on these panels doing the same process of wiping it on and wiping it off. And I did this to each panel and allowed that to dry. I'm going to apply the hanger back onto each of the panels and I'm going to take my seed packet panels and I'm going to glue them with E6000 to the galvanized panels and I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue just to hold it while the E6000 dries. I'm going to reapply the bows that we took off of the frames in the first place and re-glue them to the top of each panel. And there you go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateatfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, transfer, or mesh stencils, chocolateatfancy.com.